Now I'm going to show you how to import an image into Aspire and create a three-dimensional toolpath for it. First, create a file. And my CNC route is two feet wide by three feet deep. Uh, my wood is 0.75 of an inch thick. I'm going to use the center as my origin inches. And this time I'm going to use a very high resolution because I am doing a three-dimensional cut into my word and you'll see what I mean in a minute so okay now I'm going to import the image that I want to create so file go to import import a bitmap and then I'll go to my desktop and I'll import this image of the bird okay so now I have my image right here I'm going to double click on it use the node editing point to scale it I want to make it a little bit bigger so scale it a little bit and then I'll hit F9 to center it to still scale so this is a pretty good sized bird and um, now I want to create a 3D three-dimensional tool password for that I need to go to the modeling tab okay once I go to the modeling tab my bird is still selected so I'll go to this guy right here and create a component from a selected bitmap click on that okay it's gonna think for a little and now it just created my bitmap to see my bitmap into my word I can go to the 3d view and see what it looks like I'll zoom in so you guys can see it right now you can see it has lots of small details and um, it's gonna take a while from uh, for my CNC router to execute this cut it will do it if you have a good tool uh, drill bit but it's gonna take a while so one thing that I can do is I can smooth this bird okay so go to this guy right here click on it it will load the tool uh, give it a second it's processing right now okay now done processing using the slider I can diminish the amount of vector this bird has so now I can slide it a little bit and see what it will look like okay I think I like this but let me go a little bit more right here okay so less vectors to me is better because you know my drill bit is not that precise of a drill bit it's a 1-8 um, uh, round nose uh, bit so I'm just gonna try try this resolution and I'll say okay right here okay so now I have this bird almost ready to cut but I wanted to show you in the component tree the other things you can do with this bird okay so for that I'm gonna double click on the component tree and it will open a new window okay now this window right here you can play with the height of the bird so let me tilt it right now and you can see what I mean so my wood is 0.756 and it's cutting through my wood to create the profile of the bird and I can change the height of the bird by using the slider right here okay so you move it basically what you do you're cutting deeper you can see my bird just went a little bit deeper and I'll move it again you can see it, it just goes again a little bit deeper and also you can change the base height meaning your wood you can change the base height where will your bird sit in reference to your wood you can change that but I'll just reset the height to set it in the middle and then the other thing you can subtract the bird from your wood to do that you can select on this box click on this box right here okay and now what it did is just subtracted from my wood the bird and you can see right here in fact that's what I'm going to do I'm going to subtract the bird from my wood and now you can also once again play with the height of your bird um, or your image to get a better resolution right here what I have right now I kind of like it so I think I'm going to go with this and say close now I'll go to toolpath pin it and create a toolpath for this image I will have to create two different toolpaths 
in order to get something that I really like. The first toolpath is the roughing 3D toolpath. So it's this guy right here. Click on it. Okay. Now select my tool. I'm using a point one two five bull nose for my roughing. Okay. And the step over is thirty one percent, which is really good. I can go up to fifty percent and it's going to be less precise but i think 31 percent is good if i want to go a little bit faster i'll go to 40 percent right here and then i'll say 40 percent 41 percent and i'll say okay and then um it's a raster um z level roughing strategy z level but i'm using a raster right here which I think for the roughing will go much faster. And then I'll go to calculate. So it's telling me the allowance is more than 20%. Just say okay. Okay, now it's calculating my tool pass, my roughing tool pass. It's going to take maybe 10 more seconds to calculate it. And then we can preview it after it finished the calculation. Still calculating 88%, 90, almost there. Still calculating. I guess this bird right now has lots of uh, detail, so that's why it's taking a little bit of time. To uh, process all the information that we throwing at it. Okay, my roughing toolpath is complete. And to see what it looks like, I can uh, preview it by uh, clicking on the play button and you can see it right here. So the roughing toolpath is going into passes right now. Already three passes, four passes. And that's quite good. So, and this is just a roughing tool passes. I like it. I'm going to close it right now. And then I'll go to my finishing tool pass right here. Okay. So, finishing tool pass, I'm also using a 0.125, which is a 1.8 uh, drill bit, uh, router bit. But I'm using a, a bull nose 0.125. Now this time the step over I'm going to make it much smaller 29% so that my final pass is even more precise or even cleaner. I'll say okay and this time I'm going to go conventional uh, offset right here conventional 3D finish I'm just going to calculate it okay it's going to take a while to process it and calculate it but I think we'll get something good.
Click calculating. Alright, my finish tool pass is done and then I can preview it to see what it looks like. And you can see if I zoom in here, you can see it becomes a little bit even more precise. It's going much slower, but you can see the bird is getting much more detailed. Okay, that looks really good. I have a roughing tool path and a 3D finish tool path. Now I'm going to save my tool path. I'm going to select the list of tool passes right here. Select roughing and finish. Then I'll go close this window. I'll go to save tool path right here. And since they both use the same exact 0.125 uh, router bit, I can save both of them as one single tool pass. And then I'll go to my um, desktop, save my file. But sometimes I always recommend to save each one of them as a separate tool pass. I think that's what I should do. It should be better. So I'll cancel this. I'll uncheck this one. I'll save first the 3D tool pass on my desktop. 3D roughing tool pass cancel. I'll select that. Okay, save tool pass. 3D roughing save tool pass. Okay, 3D roughing tool pass save. It's done. Now I'll go to the second one. Cancel. Go to my finish and save it. Save finish tool pass, and you can see right here. Save and it's done. So you're ready to load your file into your CNC router and you're going to get a beautiful image.